these are the wheels guys that I got off eBay the bargain wheels um, as you can see they are pretty filthy at the moment um, but underneath all this grime they should, they should clean up pretty well so um, I'm pretty excited to see what they look like after I've given them a bit of a clean um, tread depth wise these two are probably the worst probably still got about 5 mil there and then I reckon these two will be my front two tyres um, that's more like six seven mil on that one about six mil on that one so yeah happy days but yeah i'm just going to give them a good clean up with some soapy water and then some uh, wheel cleaner just to get all this muck off because once they're on the car you know they'll never get washed properly again so uh yeah let's do it properly once also makes it a bit nicer for the uh, tire fitters to work on so here we go Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm going to Savannah. We'll never be alone, Savannah. The beauty of the world, Savannah. Let's all take a ride, Savannah. Really happy with how they look on the car personally I think they fill the arches properly and make it look a lot more up to date plus I'll be in good shape when I come to look at buying all-terrain tyres for it in 20 inch flavour for now I'll run the Pirelli Scorpion Verdes though as they're in pretty good nick looking from the front of the car as well you can see that the extra offset pushes the tyres out towards the edge of the body which I think makes it look a lot more beefy and wide So as you can see guys, the weather outside is horrible. I did have some other stuff I wanted to do this weekend on the outside of the truck, like pulling that dent and a few other things. But seeing as it's so horrible outside, I've decided to sit myself in the Range Rover. I've put a two kilowatt heater in the back as you can probably hear. And we're gonna attack the steering wheel with this steering wheel repair kit that I alluded to in an earlier video. So this should contain everything we need to improve the look of the steering wheel and get it looking nice and black again a lot of this rim around where your hands will contact the wheel most often has kind of it's kind of worn away um, so the leather's kind of gone rough and uh, a bit kind of gray looking um, and if you look really closely you can actually see where the heating element is underneath the leather so it's kind of like showing through you can't quite feel it but you can definitely see where it is so hopefully this kit will improve it and get the wheel looking pretty good again so, in the kit, we get instructions that we need in these for sure, because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to leather. Um, we get four of these little sponge pad things. Um, unbelievably, and scarily, some 320 grit, or 200 grit uh, wet and dry sandpaper. Um, and then we get some leather binder, leather liquid degreaser, leather alcohol cleaner, and this, this is the actual uh, colorant slash uh, dye, I guess you'd call it. So it's going to be a multi-step process. Hopefully, I don't mess it up too badly. So it's recommending that I clean the wheel with the leather ultra clean, which I don't have. So I'm just going to use a bit of pre-clean. This has actually been cleaned fairly recently with um, the proper gl uh, auto glim leather cleaner. So uh, this will just be a bit of a a reclaim before we start. Oops. Oh, 
yeah, it's pretty clean already, but you can see, even still, that's what came off of it. I don't know whether that's dirt or whether that's uh, just more dye coming out of the leather. Oh boy, not, not good, is it? Um, next, gently sand down the leather, paying more attention to any cracked, rough or peeling areas. Sand these areas have more pressure to make the leather smooth. I'm guessing that's referring to all these bits of the leather where it's kind of gone uh, not a bit kind of fibrous. So we'll give that a go. Ah, that's actually 1200 grit, not 200, not 200 grit. This is 320 that they specify in the uh, instructions. So we'll give it a go. This feels really bad, sanding my steering wheel. I'm gonna do all of the front face and kind of all around the outer rim as well to see if that will. Just because you don't really see the back of the wheel um, and it's probably not as worn anyway. So we're gonna go for the bits that are actually gonna make a difference. Now I don't wanna to go too hard on this because it's probably pretty thin anyway, this leather from the mileage. Worst case scenario, guys, if I really mess this up, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be looking on eBay tonight for another steering wheel, but let's see how this goes first. You can really see these uh, heating elements in the steering wheel now. That's how worn this leather is. This feels so bad. I just hope it comes back after this. Tell you what, it's nice and toasty in here, with that heater going. Step two. Dampen a cloth with a liquid degreaser and wipe down the whole surface of the leather. If you have any areas of grease buildup, a liquid degreaser should be able to should be used to remove the grease and decontaminate these areas. Yeah, those uh, really worn areas look pretty horrid now. Extremely white and washed out, but I'm guessing that's because of the the sanding process, taking off what little dye there was left on there. Yeah, this isn't the process for the uh, faint of heart, guys. Um, I mean, at this stage, you'd look pretty look. You'd look at this wheel and pretty much say it was wrecked. So, I'm, I'm hoping it comes back. Okay, right now we want to dry this out using the heater. So I'll grab that. Then next we're going to be using the alcohol cleaner. Okay, so another step of cleaning. Right, I'll grab the heater. I'm just literally gonna dry it out with this. Okay, you want another dry cloth? Be back in a sec. Okay, more dry cloths. So, the more I rub this, the more of this kind of dark colored stuff comes off of it. I'm guessing that is just the leather falling apart, which is why we need to reseal it. After the previous steps, the leather may have become fibrous or rough. Using the leather binder, these areas can be strengthened and repaired. Apply the leather binder to a sponge and rub it into the damaged areas. It should be applied sparingly with pressure to allow the product to soak into the fiber structure. Leave the binder to dry. This can be sped up with use of hairdryer. We recommend applying at least three coats of binder, ensuring each layer is thoroughly dry before applying the next. So this is our binder, shake well. Mmm, smells really weird. Oh God, I think I put too much on. Soak in, soak in. Oh God, it's on my jeans now, oh well. I'm not really sure what this stuff is. I guess it's some kind of a gluing agent designed to kind of fill in the gaps with the uh, where the leather fibers of the leather have, uh, have broken apart. It feels kind of sticky to the touch. 
whatever this stuff is guys it's definitely doing something the leather already looks a bit healthier right let's give that a dry and then we'll go for another coat or two right that's feeling pretty dry now guys it looks pretty good so far I think the next step is actually to key the leather with this uh, 1200 grit sandpaper. Um, let me just have a check at the instructions. It's getting a bit hot in here now, guys. I'm just going to do a really light sand over the areas where we've got leather binder. It almost seems like a shame to do this, but uh, it's all part of the process. Okay. Right, blimey it's warm in here now. Next we're going to give it a quick wipe over again, I think with the alcohol. Alcohol cleaner, yeah. Okay. Turn this off for a minute. So before I go any further, because the next step is the dye, I'm going to mask off uh, any bits of steering wheel that I don't want to get to dye on. I imagine that'll be a pain in the ass to get off. So we're going to come in here with the tape. Make sure I get right up to the edge of the uh, leather there. Might even put a bit on this switch gear as well. I'm just going to chuck a few more cloths under the steering wheel, kind of over my legs and the seat, just in case I uh, manage to spot any bits of uh, dye where they shouldn't be. Just give this a good shake. Light, even dabbing motion, guys. A light, even dabbing motion. Several light coats. Okay, light and even, light and even. So we'll start off with a really small amount on my sponge. Looking good so far, I think. Okay, we're going to dry off that first coat. Looking good so far. Okay, let's go for another coat. So, it's a bit later on guys. Um, I've done lots of light coats of dabbing, as you saw. Um, it's looking pretty even now. It's got a nice even finish to it. Um, and I've left it to dry with a heater on it for a while as well. So it's it's dry to the touch. Um, I've just noticed though, as I've been dabbing, it's kind of picked up a few kind of dust particles in the, uh, in the coatings. Um, so it's quite smooth overall, but there's a bit of a kind of um, like, a, almost like a, when you paint something and you get, you get dust particles trapped in it. So what I'm going to do is take my 2000 grit sandpaper and just go over it again very, very lightly just to knock off those very high points on the, um, the finish. So I think that will help the overall final product. So here we go. I cannot believe how well the steering wheel came out guys, honestly the video doesn't do it justice, it looks and feels like a totally new wheel now. For 20 quid and a few hours work, I'd say it's well worth doing. Anyway, that's it for this week guys, apologies for the late upload, but please remember to like, leave a comment and subscribe if you've not done so yet, because next week I'll be looking at more mechanical stuff on the Rangey, so you won't want to miss it.